What up, craft leets? Yes, you read that right. Today we are making real Chemical X. Now you know what Chemical X is. It's stuff that made the Powerpuff Girls, Mojo Jojo, Rowdy Rough Boys, blah, 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 blah. We're gonna be making two versions of that today. Now the first version is gonna be a version that basically anybody can do. It's gonna be like a vase. You can add water, flowers to it. Basically, you can bring nostalgia right into your home. But the second version, we're gonna be adding actual Chemical X liquid to it, baby. Plus, just on this second one, we're going to get a little help from our Cricut so we can tell the difference between the handmade version and the Cricut version. All right, y'all, I'm ready. Let's hop into it. It's Craftletics. Now, everything that we used in today's video, I'll leave links down below to something like it or similar. Now, to make the vase, you're going to need this 4x6 printout. I'll leave a link down below where you can download the file. Uh, and I just went to Walgreens and printed it out. It ran me about 39 cents. Okay, first thing we want to do is tape off the top half of our glass bottle. Then we want to head out and spray paint the bottom half. Next, we want to cut the letters out of our printout. Now, we want to take our white permanent vinyl that we got from the Dollar Tree and place it vinyl side down. Then we can trace our letters onto the back of our vinyl and use our scissors or an X-Acto knife to cut them out. Once our bottle is dry, we can remove the backing from our vinyl and start placing them onto our bottle. Finally, we can remove the tape from our bottle and bam, we got our Chemical X vase. All right, now before we get into the liquid Chemical X, What's your favorite Powerpuff Girls episode? Let me know in the comment section down below. Mine was the one where the uh, the inmates dressed up like them and it was real terrible, but the, the townspeople couldn't know the difference. Oh, and um, I like the Boogie Monster episode. Is Step 3 really all that? It ain't no Step 4 Stepper. And then, right after you tell me, hit that subscribe button. First, I loaded our design in the Cricut Design Space, scaled it to the size I needed, cut it, and weeded it. Next, we really carefully applied it to our transfer tape. Now we can place it on our bottle. If you're having issues, you can cut slits onto the edges to make it easier to lay. Now your boy had a gallon of Elma's glue just lying around, but you can add as much or as little glue as you want. Then we can add a decent amount of black food coloring and mix. Finally, we can use a funnel and pour our Chemical X into our bottle. Put a cork on that thing and voila, real Chemical X. Now you can use the lettering process from the vase and then also add the Chemical X. That process will work too. But looking at them side by side, uh, I wish that the lettering on the vase was smaller, but that would have been impossible to trace. Uh, I also wish that I would have uh, not taped it so far down that way my lettering could have been further up but honestly these really turned out great to me and it was easy to do now if you like this video please consider hitting that like and that share button follow craftletics on all our socials y'all uh check out rulesandrogues.com we got stuff over there and like that the day is saved peace